This is a short video to introduce you to the new D4175 which is running on EVC 2.0. Visually and size wise the engine is very similar to what you're used to with some minor design changes and product enhancements. The biggest visual difference on this side of the engine is the closed crankcase breather system which is here which is different to the older style replaceable element type. Not too many differences on the rear of the engine, although there is now a new DC-DC converter which is integrated into the wiring loom. On the port side of the engine is where the biggest differences are and it's these that we want to concentrate on now. One big difference is where you connect the batteries for the starter motor which are now on an easily accessible set of terminals located under these bolts. Remove these and these and these two covers will flick up. Another difference is the data link connection point which previously was mounted a little bit higher up but is now mounted quite low on the engine down here. This consists of an auxiliary bus which will come pre-wired with a six pin connector a secondary auxiliary bus connection, a data link and a senders connection. We'll cover these in more detail shortly. As well as the changes on the engine, we've also got some new loose items which we wanted to make you aware of. The main one being what Volvo are calling the Vessel Main Module or VMM. Similar to the engine, this unit has a unique serial number and a unique chassis ID and should be kept with the engine that it was sold with. The purpose of this unit is to provide a single connection point for the Vodia diagnostic tool which is here and is connected to the engine or engines in the drive line using the auxiliary bus plug and the second auxiliary bus plug. The loose items include a mounting bracket for the VMM, which Volvo have requested is positioned in the front port side of the engine bay to make finding it as easy as possible for future diagnostic visits. The unit is mounted in the pre-drilled holes on the bracket with the diagnostic port held in this orientation with the four pre-drilled holes. The auxiliary bus connection we showed you earlier will be cable tied to the front of the engine and is a six pin plug. This is connected into one of the auxiliary bus connections on the VMM. It doesn't matter which one. Also included in the loose items are two termination resistors. One of these goes into the second auxiliary bus plug on the VMM. The second auxiliary bus terminator is connected into the auxiliary bus connection on the engine and completes the circuit. The data link cable is the same six pin to six pin connection that you're used to on the older engines, which goes from the engine to the helm control unit. But with the EVC 2.0, we now have termination resistors at each end of this cable. These are included in the loose items. These are connected as shown with one end at the engine and one end directly into the throttle lever. And so when assembled, the data link cable in the engine bay would look like this. Because you're fitting an auxiliary alternator, the kit includes an auxiliary relay and connection cable. These are included in the loose items. The connection point for this auxiliary relay kit is here on the engine, which is above our electrical connection points. And the installation instructions for the relay kit are included in the publication bag, which will be included with the loose items. I believe this video has covered all of the changes that you need to be aware of, but please don't hesitate to call if you've got any further questions.